The point P, which is at negative 2, negative 5, lies on the curve with the equation y equals f of x. Find the point to which P is mapped when the curve with the equation y equals f of x is transformed to the curve with each of the following equations. The first one being f of x plus 2. If we consider f of x plus 2 with the 2 added outside, this is a vertical translation, 2 units upwards. The whole curve moves 2 units upwards, which will affect the y coordinate, but not the x coordinate. So it's going to move to negative 2, negative 3 the x-coordinate staying the same, the y-coordinate being increased by two units. The next one is y equals mod f of x. With a modulus, any part of a curve or line that would be below the x-axis is reflected up above. That means a point like negative 2, negative 5, which is below the axis, would be reflected in the x-axis like so. Once again, the x-coordinate wouldn't change, but the y-coordinate would become positive. So this one is negative 2, 5. Finally, we have 3, f of x minus 2, plus 2. The first thing that we need to do here is deal with the x minus 2 inside. So f of x minus 2, this time the 2 is inside, that is a horizontal translation. And with x minus 2, it is 2 units to the right. So the x-coordinate will increase by 2. That will make it 0. The other two transformations affect the y-coordinate. The first one is the 3. 3 f of x is a vertical dilation or stretch of the curve with a scale factor of 3. What's going to happen to a y-coordinate of negative 5 is initially it's going to move downwards to be at negative 15. The plus 2 will have the same effect then as it did in part A and move it back up 2 units to negative 13. So this one is going to be at 0, negative 13.